The Golden Spruce, a true story of myth, madness, and greed, by John Valiant is a compelling narrative that delves into the complex relationship between humanity and nature, exploring themes of myth, madness, and greed. Valiant weaves together history, environmentalism, and psychology to tell the tragic tale of the golden spruce tree and the man who sought to destroy it. At the heart of the story is the remarkable golden spruce, a unique Sitka spruce tree with luminous golden needles that grew on the remote Haida Gwaii Islands off the coast of British Columbia, Canada. This tree, considered sacred by the indigenous Haida people, held a mythical status in their culture. It was revered as a symbol of renewal and was believed to possess a spiritual connection to their ancestors. Valiant masterfully introduces the reader to this awe-inspiring tree, setting the stage for the central conflict of the narrative. The narrative shifts its focus to Grant Hadwin, a skilled logger and passionate environmentalist. Hadwin's descent into madness is central to the book's exploration of the theme of madness. As a logger, he witnessed the devastating effects of clear-cut logging on the pristine forests of Haida Gwaii, which led him to embrace a radical form of environmentalism. His obsession with the golden spruce, however, takes him to the brink of sanity. Hadwin's plan to cut down the revered tree is an act of defiance against the industry he once belonged to, driven by a desire to draw attention to the destructive nature of clear-cut logging. Valiant expertly explores the psychological aspects of Hadwin's character, delving into the mind of a man who feels compelled to commit an act that goes against his own beliefs and principles. This internal conflict is a poignant illustration of the profound impact that environmental degradation can have on individuals. Hadwin's descent into madness mirrors the collective madness of a society that prioritizes profit over the preservation of natural wonders. The theme of greed is interwoven throughout the narrative, primarily through the lens of the logging industry. Valiant exposes the insatiable appetite of the industry for timber, which drives the relentless destruction of old-growth forests and, ultimately, the golden spruce itself. The industry's pursuit of profit at any cost is a stark representation of the destructive consequences of unbridled capitalism. The juxtaposition of this greed with the sacredness of the golden spruce underscores the tragic clash between economic interests and ecological values. Valiant's narrative style is both engaging and informative. He seamlessly integrates historical accounts, ecological insights, and personal anecdotes, creating a rich and immersive reading experience. His meticulous research is evident as he provides a comprehensive background on the Haida people, the logging industry, and the natural history of the region. This contextualization enriches the reader's understanding of the events and characters in the story. One of the book's strengths is its nuanced approach to the ethical dilemmas surrounding environmentalism and conservation. Valiant does not present easy answers but instead invites readers to grapple with the complex choices and trade-offs that individuals and society face when confronting environmental issues. This ambiguity adds depth to the narrative and encourages readers to reflect on their own values and beliefs. In conclusion, The Golden Spruce is a thought-provoking exploration of the intricate relationships between humanity and nature, myth and reality, and madness and greed. John Valiant's skillful storytelling and in-depth research make this true story a compelling and relevant read for anyone interested in environmentalism, indigenous culture, or the broader human experience. Through the lens of The Golden Spruce, Valiant invites readers to contemplate the profound impact of our actions on the natural world and the consequences of sacrificing the sacred for the sake of profit.